Like many municipalities, the town of Huntsville has lowered its flag to half-mast, but also on the town's front steps, a memorial to the discovery of 215 indigenous children's remains in Kamloops, BC. The tragic discovery that has shocked the country is also bringing out the community to support the need for more acknowledgement of Canada's jaded history. Parent and local teacher Una Pape says the need is important to bring these moments into our teachings. Well, I think that, um, you know, going to town hall is a symbol of our, of our community's need for discussing and seeking out ways that social justice can start um, making its way into more conversations and making its way into talking to our community members where it's just, it's not just something that's happened, it's something that is happening. I mean, the 215 children is a, an incident that's part of our history, but just last year there were Micmac fishermen whose boats were being set on fire. I mean, this is an ongoing thing um, or issue rather that is uh, we need to start taking a really solid look at it as Canadians as partners with our Indigenous communities um, and I think that you know reading about it and um, trying to connect to it just isn't enough we need to start pushing our government um, and uh, in this case the church needs to maybe have some responsibility here as well like there just needs to be a push forward with um, making this uh, more of a of a need to address rather than it just being like an organization that we recognize on September 30th. She also has been working to bring more shoes to the front steps of Huntsville's town hall to help our community recognize what 215 lost lives actually looks like. And I think that that, um, that us moving towards showing what 215 pairs of children's shoes look like is something that will be hopefully um, striking the hearts and minds of people and wondering, what can I do? Meanwhile, Perry Sound business owner Crystal Tababandung took a different route to memorialize these lost lives with 215 orange ribbons tied to the bridge in town. It was, a, um, it was okay for me. Like, I knew what I was doing and it made me proud to bring honor to British Columbia and to um, Kamloops and to my West Coast Native brothers and sisters. But what really hit close to me and home to me is I was contacted by another woman in the community and she brought her children who were First Nation. So it was very um, ironic that like these children were helping me hang ribbons for children of 215 children who passed away. I'm like, oh, that just hit me in the gut real hard. And I totally appreciated that they, they came out and, and they helped. What the discovery means to me is it solidifies the truth that we all as Indigenous people knew that there was still genocide and assimilation that was occurring in Canada and that our Native children and our families died at those residential schools. Um, and we were constantly told through documentation that, no, they didn't. There was an excuse that we're constantly giving. And this just solidifies everything that we knew since the establishment of those schools that, that our, our families and our children died at those schools. And my grandmother went to residential school for about a year. So I didn't know until she passed. So it was very, wow eye-opening. Joining us now to talk about some local responses to this tragedy is Mayor Graydon Smith. Graydon, thanks for taking the time today. Good afternoon and thanks. Graydon, uh, recently we had seen the flags lowered uh, in our municipalities, Bracebridge and otherwise, uh, in recognition of these uh, children's remains that were discovered in Kamloops. Tell me just, you know, how important it is for our municipalities, despite this being in BC, to you know, recognize this uh, this event. Yeah, I don't think um, the location is really, um, you know, what matters here. The fact is that uh, 215, uh, you know, poor souls were um, not treated with any sort of respect at, at any point in their journey, um, especially at the end. And... Um, you know, we, we grieve along um, with our uh, First Nation 
uh, peoples and indigenous peoples in Canada. It's it was just gut wrenching and horrific to hear the news, frankly. Uh, and the more I've read about it, and the more it's uh, been talked about, this being kind of a a known thing, uh, but one of those things that was never dealt with. Uh, to me, makes it that much more heartbreaking that there hadn't been some action taken sooner uh, to 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 recognize that this tragedy and these types of tragedies have occurred probably not only in Kamloops but in other locations uh, of residential schools throughout Canada. This, uh, I mean, this comes on the heels too of, of just having a, a roundtable discussion about missing and murdered Indigenous women and children in Canada. And now, um, it seems like we're moving back to square one again. What? Where do you think we can go from here with this issue? Well, I, th I think that um, process was a positive step forward, but it just shows how many more steps there are to go. Uh, locally, we uh, have a leadership table with uh, indigenous, indigenous leaders throughout uh, Muskoka. Uh, and that's been something that uh, I've been very proud to be a part of, uh, to learn more about uh, their culture uh, and about a people that have been, um, you know, so integral to our our communities, plural. And uh, I, I think it really underlines the fact that um, many of us need uh, a lot more uh, education uh, as to uh, what has uh, uh, gone on uh, with these uh, fine, proud people uh, throughout their history uh, and uh, the, the many tragedies that have uh, occurred uh, and um, you know only only through learning and understanding can we hope to move forward and uh, so we need to take every opportunity to do that uh, and this is certainly um, tragically yet another one.